Well, um, we've heard from people that want to change the world and you know, save the planet and change the medical industry. I'm just going to talk about shopping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> I know it's a bit of a letdown. Um, have, have we got any um, online shoppers in the audience? Hands up. Okay, uh, hands up. Any real shopaholics? Oh, excellent. Okay. So I'm going to only talk about our product for just a minute, but um, Stalk This is a place where uh, consumers can come together in a social environment. They can find products they like from all around the web. They can bring them together. They can share them. They can create their own little wish lists of them. And when they go on sale, we send them an alert to say, buy it. Okay, <laughs> so the first, the first thing I wanted to talk about was, um, you know, I ideas are, are nothing in themselves. We, we all have great ideas, but without the execution, they're absolutely worthless. So how do ideas form? Now, in our case, um, you know, everyone's talked about, oh, the moment in the shower, or the moment on the toilet, I worry about those ones. Um, but in our case, it was at dinner, and um, my wife and I were having dinner with uh, my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law, and we were giving my sister-in-law a really hard time about her shopping habits, and she said, no, but, but I'm really careful. I stalk the products first, and when they go on sale, I, I, I buy them, but only on sale. So that, that sparked an idea. How can we take that and turn it into a system to support this evil habit? <laughs> and so... What we needed was the, the ability to, to spot patterns, to spot trends, to spot needs that people had, to spot opportunities, and to look at the world and what solutions it offered. And this is where we, we discovered something called the 100th monkey effect. Has anyone heard of that? This is this amazing um, psychological phenomenon. It, it's to do with the, the 100 monkeys and the works of Shakespeare, and everyone's heard that. The hundredth monkey effect means that in this incredibly interconnected world that we have now, all of, there's a whole lot of people that see the same patterns, they see the same trends, and they come up with the same ideas at the same time. So there's a company in America that's doing a very similar thing to us, but the way they're approaching it is different. It's America. It's really only focused on America. Um, whereas we look at this problem and say, how do we roll this out to the world? because we're in Australia, we're a tiny little country, and you know, Australians uh, tend to think globally. So we learned very quickly that it's not, it's not how you approach, it's not what the idea is, it's how you approach it. Now I'm just gonna really run through, I've got two minutes left, a couple of things that we've learned. You need the right team. Investors and partners are buying a team. Uh, relationships have to be really strong. You must respect each other. You must have people in your team that have got a really wide range of experiences and that complement each other. You have to have clear roles that don't overlap. As soon as you start stepping on each other's toes, you're in a lot of trouble. And you have to have credentials. It's, um, it's great you got all these um, young bucks coming out of their, their parents' um, garages with great ideas, but a saleable team means that people have to have a track record. You need the right business model. You have to understand the behaviours of the, of the clients that you're trying to service. Um, you can't boss, we learned this in a big way in our last startup, you can't rely on one partner. You must have lots of partners. Partners mean customers. It means all of you who are gonna go home tonight and look at our website. <laughs> um, it means be, having lots of customers who are paying money um, supporting your product. Um, you need the right attitude, and, and Nunes, thank you very much, this was great. Uh, you have to balance self-belief and optimism with the ability to learn and listen. You're always wrong until someone else proves you're right. Um, Self-doubt will kill your project. As soon as someone starts faltering, you've got to pick them up and, and support them. But the minute you don't believe in yourself, your product is dead, your project is dead. And know when to kill your project. If you're doing a startup, know when it's a dead duck and get rid of it and move on to the next great idea. The right practices. Uh, if you're starting a, a new business, read this book. This thing is, this is amazing. Eric Rice is a bit of a god. Um, 
Pivot early, cheaply, and as often as you can. If you follow agile and lean startup uh, practices, it means you can change direction very, very quickly and have the right partners. This is the lovely Chloe Morello, who's one of our endorsers. She's uh, the number two beauty blogger in Australia. Um, and we partner with a lot of people who can help us out, exploit them all mercilessly. <laughs> and the hard parts. Funding takes a long, long, long time. It is hard to tell your story over and over and again. And you're going to have limited funds to try and work out what you're going to spend them on. Thank you all very, very much.